What's up, men 17 fans? Today's video is gonna show you how to get two to three man edge pressure from the right side of the, of the uh, line. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I wanna welcome you to today's video. Today's video is going to be sharing with you uh, a defense that I've been using for quite a while now, and something that I feel like I've really I think gotten really pretty good at a lot of people probably already know this play but it's just been my base and I wanted to share with it you share it with you guys because it's what I've been doing recently so the play is the nickel normal and it's what I like to do is flip it I like to flip the nickel normal and call the play nickel blitz 2 now tomorrow or actually later on this week we're gonna show you how to get this pressure from any play in the nickel defense but basically what we want to do here is we want to base a line we want to press coverage I like to shift my linebackers to the right side of the line pinch my line and then from there the blitz is pretty much set up uh, we can just let it go and you'll see that there will be uh, edge pressure off that right edge now that's a five-man version what I want to do right now and if you guys hang around a little longer we're gonna show you how to do it from sending only two players okay so whenever you're pl putting a defense together what you want to do is once you've kind of found a blitz that works say you're sending five or six or even seven players what you want to do is you want to take one of those players away and normally what you want to do is you want to take the furthest guy away from the opposite side of the line of scrimmage so in this example since the pressure is primarily to the right side we're gonna take this guy on the left side here uh, this defensive end and we're gonna put him I believe man coverage works best if you put him in man as opposed to putting him in a zone. But you can put him in a zone, but we're gonna put him in a man assignment on this guy on the left side, uh, this receiver on the left side, Matthews. Another thing you could do uh, in theory is you could put him in a cross man assignment, uh, but we're just man him up on anyone, it really doesn't matter. So then what you wanna do is you, you see you test it, and as you see, it stays and it still goes, it still works. Now. Here's where things kind of get cool. You just kind of keep applying that principle. So now we're gonna do it with Crawford and uh, and you're gonna see the pressure is still gonna come in off that right edge. We actually got a, a nice block shed uh, off the middle guy. Now here's the kicker. So you just, again, you just keep going. So we're gonna man Wilbur up on Matthews. We're gonna man Crawford up on Walker. And now we're gonna take Irving and we're gonna man him up on uh, Sharp, the slot receiver on the right side of the line and we normally use her the, the middle linebacker in this scenario. So we snap the ball, and as you can see, the two-man pressure comes off of the right edge. So if you wanna get really crazy, um, what you could potentially do, and I have never actually tried this, but you can take Lawrence, and let's, let's try to man him up on the tight end here. Maybe do a little cross thing. And this, I mean, that'd be crazy if this works, let's see. No, but it doesn't work. But you see, there's a one-man um, and as you can see, it, it doesn't doesn't come in as clean as the two man. But uh, to recap, so what I find personally is for this blitz, I like to base a line, I like to press, I like to pinch my line, I like to shift my linebackers to the right. Now most people will crash their crash their line out. You can do that if you want to send the five man version, which is the most consistent version. For me, um, this blitz angle on the right here, Lawrence, his blitz angle doesn't change. So if we crash it to the right, it doesn't change. If we crash it to the left, it doesn't change. That blitz angle never changes. So you don't really need to do that. It just saves you uh, an extra step. And I would recommend actually go ahead and do a cross man with your tackles. Um, so if you're facing a double set, something like this, you would wanna put Crawford on the slot on the right and, and, um, and then your other DT on the tight end. And as you can see here, these are the two blitzers. And then you wanna kinda of hover in the middle here with Smith. Some people say to, to kind of have him right in here. Um, you can do whatever you want. I think, you know, the blitz really just works no matter what you do. Um, so I, I kind of do this. The guard will sometimes slide over. If you find yourself, uh, if you find that the guard is sliding over, I want to make one suggestion that will help you guys out. And, uh, and what I like to do in that situation, if maybe he's slide protecting or doing something crazy with his line and his guard is picking it up, in that, in that situation, just take Irving and put him on a quarterback spy, or you can do like those guys said and really kind of hold him right in this area. But I just really don't like that because when they run the ball, it's very difficult to stop the run. So, but as you can see there, there's the uh, QB spy and we get the pressure in there. 
So one more time to recap so you guys know what you're doing. Also, uh, a quick update. The, the setup for this play will be in the description, and it comes from the Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook, but it comes from any nickel normal, uh, nickel normal formation in the game. So baseline press, shift your linebackers to the left. This is going to help for plays we're going to show you later on in the week. And then you just start manning guys up. So we're just going to man everybody up here. And then again, I recommend holding with Smith here right in the middle. And, uh, and there you go. As you see, that pressure actually didn't get in there, unfortunately. But, uh, but anyways, guys, so just wanted to kind of give this to you. This is what I've been using. Uh, I'm going to have a video out later where I show you the nickel blitz. This is going to be the main setup I run. I run this uh, whenever I think they're going to pass. This is kind of my go-to uh, setup here. And uh, anyways, just wanted to kind of get it out to you, let you see what I've been doing. And uh, sometimes that guard will slide over. Again, if that guard slides over, you can go with a little bit more of an extreme version uh, where you're taking this guy here and you know you kind of hover right in this guard area and you'll see the pressure here works like a charm and that's actually a two-way version that I've been working on so anyways guys wanted to share this video with you if you guys liked this video I would just ask that you hit that subscribe button or if you're already subscribed then step up and help out the channel grow by sharing the video with your friends guys my channel uh, is back completely I'm working really hard on it working really hard on the content so I would just uh, really just recommend you guys to let people know videos are coming the channel is definitely going to be going through some transitions so it's going to be great and uh, at the end of the day all I'm about is trying to help you guys get better at the game now again I don't claim to have invented this setup or uh, you know invented nickel blitz or whatever it's one of the most popular plays in Madden 17 all I'm trying to do is show you what I've been using and uh, hopefully you can apply it to your game. Thank you guys so much for your time. And remember, if you have any questions at all related to Madden, please leave those in the comments and I will get in touch with you. Thanks.